Uh oh. I'm back at it again. I've been playing on the computer, looking at pictures, searching things, doing the usual ramblings of a mad lamb. This is going to be kind of a. Sh I don't even know what this is going to be. I just ramble. So it's going to be as long as I make it. Um, as you guys see here, this is a big rock. Big old cut stone rock. And that's another big old cut stone rock right there. Huge, massive rocks that are cut. And I wanted to start here today to show you guys this. Okay. These are definitely man made, correct? I'm just going to say correct, even though you guys can't answer. Let's just put it in the comments. That is about, well, I, I can't get an exact. Let's get in a little closer. About 26 feet in length, maybe 25, something like that, by 13, 14 feet. It's, um, that's a large stone. That uh, is reminiscent of megalithic stones, which they say right here, biggest stone ever found, 13 feet by 13 feet, 65 feet in length. Well, that's 24 by 13. I mean, kind of same principle. And you're probably wondering where this is, and if you haven't guessed already. Yes, right there, Ricot structure. Check this out. In the dead center of the Ricot structure, there is a megalithic stone circle. Okay. Now it looks ruined and blown apart, and I was screwing around just checking it out, looking at these things. And you can see, you know, here's another structure. Very strange. There's a kind of circular, don't know what that is. I mean, it's just not clear enough. But some of these areas look oddly man made, especially the dead center. And if you follow my videos and have seen the things I've talked about, I am very, very, very convinced that this area of the world truly did become covered in water and massive waves flooding across the land and receding back across land. And I'm not sure where this would go or how it would go from the dead center of the Ricot structure. Would it be the leading wave would bash it around and the receding wave would pull it back down or what. But I'm personally thinking that all throughout this area and the Ricot structure is worth looking into and searching for the other pieces of these giant stone blocks. Did they maybe sink from massive earthquakes? They've they have videos of earthquakes with water and sand and stuff just sinks. It's like the sand turns into nothing and things just go down. But then of course you have, it's a very, uh, very, I don't know, very squarish looking area right here. And then on top of that, you have a nice little pathway. It looks like something's been moved and dragged for a long period of time. There's other areas that look kind of squarish. I know it's it's hard to discern, but this path, this path is definitely a solid path. I just can't see where the end of it is or what it is. And then you go here and you look and this is kind of squarish right there. How big is that? I mean, 44 feet, could that be a giant stone, megalithic stone that's buried right there? Where are we in the world at this point? What point do they consider this? I don't know what the coordinates are. I think these right down here, but my recording stuff is in the way. Um, but it's here in the Ricot structure. And that certainly looks potentially megalithic. Which brings me back to the whole point of the Ricot structure, you know. Um, they describe Atlantis looking like this, obviously pre-massive flood. And if you can imagine these waters 
receding down through here as you can see and as they recede massive massive earthquakes going on and things just sinking into the ground disappearing look at these odd shapes in the sand just the it looks like vibrations like I said in my last video it really does looks like there was a massive earthquake while water was receding and potentially hit and flooded down over the top here flooded down through here and just wiped out whatever was around this area if we play in the sand down in here start digging start playing in these areas maybe just digging in the ricot itself I mean I don't know how thick this is I don't know how deep it is this certainly looks salty like salt water at one point came up through this area uh, I have no idea what all of this is but I'm I'm very curious I would love to travel to the Ricot and see it in real life go to the center and see how big these are and if there's pieces I mean maybe is it is that one stone did it break did it crumble that certainly doesn't look like a natural formation that I can't be certain of and it all comes back to you know what caused this what did this what flooded the world signs are pointing to an impact you know we know we've got an impact here somewhere in Greenland which would have been massive and cataclysmic and I was doing some looking around as well and checking out the uh, Chicxulub crater up in the Yucatan here can't really see that there's a crater but they know it's there they've measured it Chicxulub is right next to Meridia here somewhere in this area anyhow they say the center point of that impact is somewhere in this neighborhood <clears throat> and it created a big crater right here that wiped out the dinosaurs but that crater seems to be wiped right away so if that happened in the time of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago or whatever they said the Chicxulub is and we can always look that up Chicxulub crater right there uh, 66 million years ago so if that happened 66 million years ago then something bigger than that happened afterwards because that is catastrophic everything here is catastrophic everything the whole Pacific Ocean is catastrophic which makes me think that this happened after and this is what caused this and the waters to flood the world and crack the earth <laughs> completely burst it apart all along here and all up through here just busted this entire thing free and just very interesting when you come back over here and you just this whole area is just very very interesting it's beautiful it's a painting um, and when you really look at the earth the earth is a place of beauty created through violence massive massive amounts of violence what is all of this you know I mean is this a washout I think this might be something that I don't know washed away I would love to see if we can find some ruins down through these areas though I, I want to see if there's some megalithic structures that are buried deep within the sands here this looks washed clean of sands just completely and then some pooling of sands and deeper sands through here um, especially south I mean if you're talking you know multi thousand ton stones they're saying that giant well, this giant stone here is a lot of weight. That's a big number. 1,650 tons. And they're saying that at, I don't know, is that the one that's 
uh, 64 feet in length, so 64 by, wow, it's huge, just massive, okay, that must be this guy down here, which is a humongous stone, but the one above it right here is the 65, 13, 13, so that's 13 feet by 13 feet by 65 feet, and that is a big, heavy stone. That, I, I don't even know how to do the math on that to figure out if that is a 24 foot megalith stone by 13 foot. Sure is reminiscent of it. And where is Balbeck in relation to here? You know, uh, I don't know how to spell it. Balbeck, maybe like that. Yes. So Balbeck Lebanon. Way across the map. How far away are we? They attribute Balbec to the Romans, but them's some big stones. And it's going to take a big set of balls to claim that their <laughs> Romans did all that. It's quite a large set there. There's Morocco, Algeria. I'm at the wrong angle here to see all this right. Mauritania. It's twisted on me. Oh, that's a lot of feet. I'm not saying that this thing drifted over here at all. I'm just tying it together with civilizations that could have potentially done this. So, 3,024 miles. You know, it would be worthwhile to look and see, you know, is there a quarry nearby? that they've quarried ginormous stones from. Where potentially could be a quarry around here, you know. I know they've moved uh, rocks long distances. That's 20 miles, 13 miles from center, 16 miles, 13 miles. So no matter what, if that quarry isn't right there, they're moving it at least that distance. It'd be interesting to find out. This whole entire land is something new, though. And it'd be interesting to find out what's under there. I mean, could we potentially find buried organic matter that's just been swirled and sloshed around with the receding seas and potentially date it? You know? Maybe find... I don't know. That stone seems to be sitting right there in the center of the rickot. Did it move from there? Is it situated in the spot where it fell? What's going on there? Can we lift it up and see if there's a body under it that we could carbon date? <laughs> Kidding, but not really. I mean, I, I don't know how you would go about it, but finding some natural organic life after that amount of flood 12,800 years ago, if that's when that happened, I don't know if you'll find anything organic around there from that time. It's all washed and mixed and ground to pulp, you know. I found it interesting as well, that one path. I want to go back to that and take a look at it again. This path right here. This one gets me. It looks like something heavy drug through the ground for a long, long, long way and followed an interesting path. It kind of breaks off right there. I can't really tell. Or does it continue down here and then all of this? Is, is this maybe chunked pieces of megalith? Are all these black spots here potential broken off pieces of megaliths. Uh, miles aren't going to work for us there. It's really, you know, six foot chunk. I don't know. I just find it intriguing, very interesting. You know, I'd like to find out what all of this is. Little smatterings through here. If that's maybe shattered ruins, shattered megaliths. Because they seem to follow these 
paths. That's just speculation. I'm just I'm just spitballing here, trying to think and talk at the same time. Trust me, it's not hard. Or it's more hard, obviously. And this is just so interesting to me. I mean, that uh, that almost looks like a uh, typeface A. <laughs> But it's, you know, a decent sized structure. I believe it's 8 feet across, whatever it is, 10 feet, 12 feet. What could that potentially be? Could that be a well? Um, it is towards the center. That, mm, gosh, they said there's a freshwater well in the center of there. Or a freshwater spring. Could that be it? Surrounded by salt water big old salt flat I don't know if these are I don't know if these edges here are all salt It'd be interesting to find out sure is beautiful though it makes you think you know what what happened to the earth what kind of violence created the beauty that we see today and regardless of what You know, mainstream archaeology tells you there's there's things that just aren't explained. They do, it's too easy just to say no, you're wrong, instead of looking into it. Another interesting thing that I found, if you look at Challenger, oops, maybe put an N in there, Challenger Deep. <coughs> it's in a very interesting spot. You know, one of the deepest points on the planet and it's right where I've been saying we've had massive impacts we had a giant hole in the Pacific Ocean that had to refill and the refilling came from the mass of water flooding across the land flooding down I believe creating the Himalayas um, maybe two wave fronts hitting each other here there's one wave moving this direction and another wave moving this direction crushing the land rising and creating just in the exact shape of a wave the cresting wave like it ran into each other and then all of this dumps to fill the holes that were left in the ocean giant giant swaths of land just lifted i mean that there's nothing that i can imagine that would cause this I can't imagine this being blown back and this whole entire section of land being torn back and just flapping around and flopping itself down and throwing out this ejecta to create all of these islands. You know, maybe the spinning of all this, throwing around land and sputting and spitting. I'm sure there was fire everywhere. And look how clean the Pacific Ocean floor looks. It's cracked and clean. It's like somebody tried to polish it but didn't do a very good job. You know, and you've got cave systems and tunnel systems all through these areas. You have Gobekli Tepe up in Turkey that they say was intentionally buried. Who knows? Could have been just floodwaters washing, burying everything, you know. And we have a date on it through the organic material in Gobekli Tepe that tells us over 20,000 years ago. And did this happen 20,000 years ago? And then we got a smaller one 12,800 years ago. Did 20,000 years ago this happen, which created, you know, the nuclear winter they talk about. And that's what created our ice sheets and the ice age. I, I haven't done enough research into the ice ages, but... Who knows? I mean, if the timelines fits, I just, I know we were hit here. In the deepest part of my mind, I, I feel that this is right. The aha moment, and people get, you know, they talk about the aha moment. And I feel that's my aha moment. I, 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 I get it. It makes sense. I just don't know when. And I would really, really like to find out when. I'd really like somebody smarter than me to come in on this and maybe combine some ideas, figure this out. Maybe find a way to date this, you know? This event 
it all happened at once. This event is one event that created the Ring of Fire, that created Challenger Deep, that blew the surface of Australia away to expose 4.4 billion year old rock, you know, while protected under two miles thick of ice, you have 7 point, where in the future we dug a 7.5 mile hole, well the Russians did, and found 2.7 billion year old rock. I mean, that's a significant thing. I was also looking at some stuff about Mars today, and they think Mars was blasted by a Pluto-sized object. And that's the way, that's why it sits the way it is. And there's a permanent lower portion. One half of the hemisphere is lower than the rest. Is that the case here? Is that what we're looking at? <laughs> this whole Pacific Ocean wiped clean of everything at one point in time, blown across the world and out into orbit. Is this truly lower than this? Looks like it to me. Just at a quick glance, you have one hemisphere of the globe right there. All you see, that's a low side and there's a high side. And then you have the highest point in the world. I don't know. I really don't. But it interests me beyond most anything right now. You know, I mean, I've got my family I love. I've got my friends I love. But it's one of those puzzles that you run into and you find there's there's so many interesting spots here in the Rikot structure when you really look at it. Getting in there and diving down to the levels of seeing different structures and potential ruins. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to keep making these ramblings of a mad lamb as I do these. Every time I get on here, I find something new. I find something interesting. I expand my thoughts. Um, I like looking into the ancient histories as well, and that's something I'll cover another time, but i give you a quick glimpse at what I'm thinking. This is a very interesting thing. Very, very interesting. Uh, they call these stupas in Buddhist, um, in India and all that. That's just what they're called. And the thing that gets me about this is this is one of the caves in, um, uh, they're the Ajak Caves, I think. I know I spelled, th spelled that completely wrong. Ajanta, yeah, excuse me, Ajanta Caves, and they're clear over here in India in an interesting spot facing an interesting direction. They're dug in to this horseshoe right here. All along here, just dug in. And in there, you come across things like this, and that is very interesting in and of itself, but the painting on the ceiling is what really gets me. Look at the shapes of it. Look at it. Does, doesn't it look like the land is broken here and raised and the water flows down and around down 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 look at this does that look like an impact crater i mean it, it's reminiscent of a meteor maybe they're trying to tell us something or a comment or i don't know i really don't i just found it interesting this is me speculating but this right here gets me and then to put this structure with an upside down temple of sorts on top of it what does it mean what is this what exactly is it i've looked up um the uh again this is the uh ajanta caves and i've read up a little bit on it there's a whole bunch of them and it just doesn't quite give me any information on truly what this could be I, it just says a stupa it's a place of worship um but could that be 
depicting an impact? I don't know. It's very interesting, though, and that truly does. I, it, I, that doesn't look like a natural formation in the ceiling, in the stone. This I can't tell you what that is, but it really does. If you imagine that's the edge, and the water flows down and flows down. This all looks like water. This looks like a potential impact. I don't know. It doesn't ha look like anything there, but it kind of is reminiscent of what could potentially look like that, the edge of that raising up and water flowing off the edges. I don't know. Let's take a quick gander. You got it. Mm, no, that's reach and stretch. Well, it, 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 I don't know. Did that, is that what that depicts? Is this edge raising up and then the water flowing down one side? You know, um, it doesn't show, I, I don't see anything that could be potential impact there. However, this one I did see, this is, a very interesting site that potentially could be an impact. It really looks like the earth just broke and just spewed out fire and it just blew fire. Magma, melted rock, just blew it over here and caused havoc. Is that what that is? Is it an impact crater? Or is this ancient volcano? What is it? There's so many interesting scars in the ocean floor. It makes you wonder how they got there, you know. Large structures like that all happen in very quick time. That's a lot of feet. Let's go two miles. So, 179 miles for that little gash right there in the earth and the scar this giant gash this is the biggest gash I think there is that's still present 75 miles across I mean it's very interesting another very deep part of the ocean right there I'll keep them coming if you guys keep watching them. Hell, I'll probably keep them coming anyways. I just uh, would love to hear what you guys have to say. Good, bad, indifferent, doesn't matter to me. I just want to know. Eventually, hopefully, we can get somebody important to look at this stuff and maybe take these ideas seriously. This just is so interesting here, the Rikot structure. It's It's just absolutely mind-boggling I wish I knew what was going on till the next one thanks for hanging with me